वेलकम टू द सेवेंथ लेक्चर ऑन सिक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर्स टूडे उल डिस्कस कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ मोनाटोन सिक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर्स सो फार्ष्ट उल रिकल द नोशन ऑफ मोनाटोन सिक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर्स एलंग उथ एक्साम्पल्स एंड देन उल सी ह्वाट इज लिस्ट अपार बाउंड एंड ह्वाट इज ग्रेटेस्ट लोअर बाउंड ऑफ ए सिक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर्स and at the end we will prove our main result for this lecture which states that every bounded monotone sequence is convergent so here is the notion of monotone sequence some classes of sequences are important so these are given special names a sequence a sub n it is said to be strictly increasing if an that is less than an plus 1 for all n belongs to this set of natural numbers so that means that as we increase the indices this term it is getting bigger and bigger and what is strictly decreasing sequence if an that is greater than an plus 1 for all n belongs to the set of natural numbers so as we increase the indices this term it is getting smaller and smaller and what is monotone increasing sequence so if an is less than or equal to an plus 1 for all n belongs to the set of natural numbers so here as we increase the indices the term it is either bigger than the previous term or it can be same what is monotone decreasing if an is greater than or equal to an plus 1 for all n that means as we increase the indices the sequence term it is either smaller or it can be the same as the previous term a sequence is said to be monotone sequence if it is either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing and what is strictly monotone sequence if it is either strictly increasing sequence or strictly decreasing sequence and what is bounded above if there exists a real number b such that all the terms of the sequence are less than or equal to that real number and what is bounded below so if there exists a real number b such that all the terms are greater than or equal to that real number it's said to be bounded sequence if it is both bounded above and bounded below so that means there exists two real numbers uh, b and this big b such that all the terms lie in between these two real numbers and here are some examples so for a uh, positive real number alpha if we consider this sequence whose nth term is n power alpha then this is strictly increasing sequence and of course it is unbounded sequence because we cannot have uh, an upper bound for this sequence so it is unbounded sequence and why it is strictly increasing because we can see that first term is 1 that is less than the second term that is less than the third term so on and what about this sequence whose nth term is n by n plus 1 this is strictly increasing sequence so first term is half sec second term is 2 by 3 third term is 3 by 4 so on so one can prove that this is strictly increasing sequence and it so all the terms uh, lie in between half and 1 so it is bounded sequence for every positive real number alpha the sequence minus of n power alpha that is strictly decreasing so since n power alpha is strictly increasing sequence so if we take uh, if we consider negative values of this so then it gives strictly decreasing sequence and since this is uh, unbounded sequence because this is not bounded above so this sequence it is not bounded below so this sequence is unbounded sequence and if we consider positive real number alpha so for every positive real number alpha the sequence 1 by n power alpha this is strictly decreasing sequence because n power alpha is strictly increasing sequence so 1 by n power alpha this is strictly decreasing sequence we can see here and all the terms lie in between 0 and 1 okay so uh, it is bounded sequence and the sequence my, whose nth term is minus 1 power n this is not monotone sequence because second term it is greater than the first term and the third term it is less than the second term so this is not monotone increasing or monotone decreasing so it is not monotone sequence and but this is bounded sequence it is uh, bounded above by 1 and bounded below by minus 1 what about this sequence whose nth term is minus 1 whole power n so this is uh, not bounded so it is neither bounded above nor bounded below sequence so this is unbounded sequence and of also this is not monotone sequence so it is not monotone increasing as well as not monotone decreasing 
and here are the notions of least upper bound and greatest lower bound. There are several methods of establishing convergence of a sequence of real numbers. In most of the methods, a prior knowledge of the limit is necessary. However, if a sequence is monotone, the convergence can be established without any knowledge of limit. Any monotone bounded sequence converges to its least upper bound or greatest lower bound depending on the monotonicity, whether it is monotone increasing or monotone decreasing. We will see this statement later. So let xn be a sequence of real numbers, then what is least upper bound of xn? So the least upper bound of xn, in short we write supremum, hello, so it is supremum of xn, we denote it by sup of xn, so it is supremum value of xn, what is that? It is a real number b satisfying these two conditions, what is that? So b should be an upper bound of this sequence, so all the terms of this sequence uh, are less than or equal to this particular value, so b gives an upper bound and b is least among all the upper bounds, so that is given by this condition. For any positive real number epsilon, if you consider b minus epsilon, so if b is somewhere here, then all the terms are less than or equal to b, so b gives an uh, upper bound, but if you consider b minus epsilon that is somewhere here, so it is b minus epsilon, so b minus epsilon it cannot be an upper bound. So there should be some term in the sequence which is greater than b minus epsilon, okay. So the least upper bound it is first of all a real number which satisfies uh, these two conditions. First one is saying that b should be an upper bound and second one is saying that b should be least among all the upper bounds. So you consider a, any positive real number epsilon then b minus epsilon it cannot be an upper bound. Okay. So there should be at least one term x sub k which is greater than b minus epsilon. So a real number b satisfying these two conditions is called least upper bound and we denote that as supremum of xn, sup of xn. And what is greatest lower bound? So it is greatest value among all the lower bounds. Okay. The greatest lower bound in short we write infimum of xn, so we denote in this way infimum of xn. And what is that? It is a real number b satisfying these two conditions. First one is saying that b should be a lower bound, that means all the terms of xn uh, are greater than or equal to b. So b should be a lower bound of this sequence and b should be the greatest value uh, among all the lower bounds. Okay? And uh, it is equivalent to say that you consider, so for any positive real number epsilon, b plus epsilon it cannot be uh, a lower bound. Okay? So there should be at least one term x sub k which is less than b plus epsilon. So b plus epsilon it cannot be a lower bound of this sequence. Okay? So a real number satisfying these two conditions is called greatest lower bound and we denote it infimum of xn. One can verify that supremum of xn uh, it is unique as well as infimum of xn that is also unique real number. Here are some examples. So if we consider this sequence whose nth term is minus 1 power n, so all the so the terms are given by this. So in this case we can see that 1 is an upper bound. Of course all the terms are less than or equal to 1 and 1 is least upper bound. Okay? So supremum of this sequence it is 1 and infimum of this sequence it is minus 1. So minus 1 is a lower bound and it is greatest lower bound. So for the sequence this one whose nth term is 1 by n, so supremum of 1 by n it is 1, so 1 gives an upper bound and it is least upper bound and infimum of 1 by n it I claim this is 0. Why? So because if we, uh, so suppose this is the real line, then 0 is somewhere here and 1 is somewhere here. 
so this is a monotone sequence and it is strictly decreasing sequence so first term is 1 then half 1 by 3 1 by 4 so on so 1 is here half is here and 1 by 3 is here 1 by 4 is here 1 by 5 1 by 6 1 by 7 so it is getting closer and closer to 0 but it is never reaching 0 so 0 gives a, a lower bound and it is greatest lower bound so if you consider any positive real number that cannot be a lower bound so 0 is greatest among all the lower bounds okay so 0 is a greatest lower bound and of course this is a strictly decreasing sequence starting from 1 so 1 is a uh, least upper bound one may consider this graph also so it is starting from 1 and then half and 1 by 3 1 by 4 so it is getting closer and closer to 0 but it is never reaching 0 so 0 gives a lower bound and it is greatest uh, lower bound okay. and what about this sequence whose nth term is n by n plus 1 so first term is half then 2 by 3 then 3 by 4 4 by 5 so on so it is strictly increasing sequence starting from 1 by 2 so its infimum value is half so it is greatest lower bound is half now what about least upper bound so supremum is I claim it is 1 why because we can see from the graph that uh, it is starting from half so it is half then 2 by 3 3 by 4 so on so it is getting closer and closer to uh, this value y equal to 1 but it is never reaching 1 so this value y equal to 1 it gives an upper bound and it is least upper bound why it is least because if we consider any smaller value it cannot be an upper bound this one it is least among all the upper bounds okay so this is least upper bound and this is supremum of this sequence now here is the main theorem so it says that any monotone bounded sequence xn it converges more precisely if xn is bounded and it is monotone in increasing then it this sequence it converges to its least upper bound so that is limit n tends to infinity xn this this limit exists and this limit it is same as the supremum of xn and the second statement it says that if xn is bounded and it is monotone decreasing then then also it converges and in that case it converges to its greatest lower bound so limit n tends to infinity xn exists and this limit it is same as the infimum of xn so it is greatest lower bound so let's prove the first statement and the proof of the second statement it is similar and it as exercise so the proof of this first statement so you consider a sequence which is bounded and it is monotone increasing so that means it is non decreasing sequence so uh, xn is less than or equal to xn plus 1 so it is monotone increasing sequence and in that case I claim that limit exists and limit will be same as supremum of xn so suppose m is the supremum of xn so that is uh, least upper bound so that means in particular m should be an upper bound so all the terms are less than or equal to m and I should prove that in that case limit exists and limit is same as the supremum value so what I prove here so I prove that this supremum value supremum of xn this satisfies epsilon n condition for this sequence for any positive real number epsilon I should prove that there exists a natural number k such that beyond that natural number all the terms lie in between this m minus epsilon and m plus epsilon uh, an arbitrary epsilon since m is supremum of xn if we consider m minus epsilon it cannot be an upper bound so there should be at least one term x sub k which is bigger than m minus epsilon so 
for this epsilon since m is supremum of xn there exists a natural number k such that this x sub k this term it is bigger than m minus epsilon because m is the least upper bound so if you consider any value that is smaller than m it cannot be an upper bound so there should be at least one term so for this epsilon there should be at least one term which is bigger than m minus epsilon let's consider this term x sub k all the terms so if you consider n that is bigger than or equal to k then th this nth term it is bigger than or equal to xk because we are considering monotone increasing sequence okay so if you consider n that is bigger than or equal to k then xn uh, it is greater than or equal to xk and xk is greater than m minus epsilon but this m it gives an upper bound so xn that is less than or equal to m and of course m is less than m plus epsilon so what we get from here that m minus epsilon less than or less than xn less than m plus epsilon for all n greater than or equal to k so that is equivalent to say that xn minus m it is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to k so thus we can see that this m this real number the supremum of xn this value it is satisfying epsilon n condition for this sequence so limit of xn it exists and it is same as supremum of xn and in same way one can prove this statement just using the definition of infimum of xn in similar way here are some examples so you consider this sequence and we have seen that this sequence is monotone decreasing and it in that case in this case our theorem says that limit n tends to infinity 1 by n it exists and it should be same as infimum of this sequence and infimum of 1 by n it is 0 so therefore limit n tends to infinity 1 by n it is 0 what about this sequence this sequence we have seen that this is monotone increasing sequence and of course this sequence that is also bounded sequence and this is also bounded sequence so we can apply our uh, theorem and applying the theorem Oh, we can say that limit n tends to infinity n by n plus 1 uh, this limit exists and this limit it is same as supremum of this sequence so it is least upper bound and what is least upper bound in this case it is 1 so limit n tends to infinity n by n plus 1 it is just 1 what about this sequence so this sequence it is bounded but it is not monotone sequence so we cannot apply the theorem and in other words we cannot conclude anything from here whether the sequence is convergent or divergent so in this case uh, we can see that this is divergent sequence okay and we can find uh, other example where the sequence is bounded and it is not monotone but uh, also it is convergent sequence for example if one consider this sequence minus 1 power n this so this is bounded sequence and it is not monotone but it is convergent sequence it converges to zero so if we omit this term uh, in the theorem then we cannot conclude uh, anything okay however every bounded sequence of real numbers has a convergent subsequence that is bolzano oesters theorem and we will see that theorem later okay so that's all